So a friend of mine sent me a uh, video on um, some underwater uh, steel, I don't know, iron, whatever they found. They found something in Sweden that's circular and looks like it hit it at a, you know, hit the underground water, you know, the land pretty fast. Uh, there's two of them. Again, they're circular. But what I'm thinking that we're going to see soon are all this stuff's going to pop up to, you know, change our whole reality. Uh, we found these ancient books. They're older than everything ever. And this is their story. Or, uh, you know, hey, look at these. We found these alien ships that have been here forever. Uh, hello, we've been visited by somebody. Oh, there's messages in the sky. I mean, it can even get as bad as, you know, uh, anybody that's looked at some of the newer technology they're using for advertisements. Uh, in New York, there was a video. Guy, you know, guys walking down the street and, and the... An advertisement can, you know, legally, I guess, too, which is insane to me, can whisper in your ear like he's standing right by you. So some guy can talk in a speaker that's up on some high rise and actually speak into your ear like a whisper. So these kind of things are really fucked up. I don't think it's healthy for society. It's kind of the same thing that I, when, when I look at um, all these cell towers right on the freeway, you know, oh, I got great signal, man, I got great signal. Well, are you fucking so stupid you don't know what the fucking signal is? Are you? Okay, it's, it's, all, it's all unhealthy. You're being beamed by rays. Okay, a hundred years ago, dude, you might have some, well, it's less than the sun, but yeah, it's still more than what you usually had. You know, people that... If, I had an interesting day. I had some people talk down to me. I got into some weird situations. And, uh, you know, I'm just making the best of it. And that's, you know, really in life, that's all you can do. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen, but I certainly know that surrounding us right now, besides what they found in Sweden, <clears throat> a lot of alleged, you know, whispers that they were going around in Iraq and they were blowing up any, they were finding all this religious, they were going around finding anywhere they had old religious papers and they were supposedly blowing them up. This is all allegedly. And, uh, you know, if that's the case, I mean, you know, because it also, Iraq, I believe, houses the uh, internal flame, or not the internal, the, uh, yeah, the internal flame, the eternal flame. So, you know, they got pictures of Bush, he's on the ground, he's kissing it. You know, later he's, he's all dressed up with these bomb-ass swords, dancing and stuff, you know, having a good time. But, uh, you know, and with, with Obama, you guys, all you guys are putting out, you know, or not all you guys, clip ended, uh, I'm using my older camera today. But uh, all you guys that are taking Obama, I, I watched the guy's video today where he really, really badly edited a video, which I would just say, man, you're, you know, you're good for you. You're kind of working on that kind of stuff. I think that's... Uh, in four or five months, man, you'll be hitting it perfect. Excuse me. But keep that video to yourself. But basically, he was like showing, uh, oh, he's got one more tooth. He's talking different. You know, there were all these facial things. I've also seen a lot of these videos where they're showing some giant scar behind his head. Uh, different, you know, spots on his head are clear. Uh, another one today. Um... You know, it's talking like he's a clone or something. There's a bunch of Obama clones. These are the kind of things we need to stay away from. They, they positively could be absolutely true. You know what I mean? They, they could be true, but it's not going to help you. So we're, we're not going to discern some small detail on some clone that's going to teach us, you know, some satanic ritual. You know, there's these, this kind of abstract way that we're viewing all of this. If all that stuff's going on, we're not privy to it, and we probably don't know how to practice it, so you shouldn't even worry about it. It should be mostly looking at what's going on. And there's a lot of legal stuff going on. There, your country's being taken over legally, and that's what you should be looking at. But there's a lot of really crazy stuff going on, and, and the Internet's popping off with all sorts of weird stuff. So if I was you, I'd be real careful and um, 
keep reading. Don't trust anything. If all of a sudden, you know, Buddha pops up or Jesus pops up or Quasateca or, you know, man for man, I don't know, whoever, whoever your thing is, the only real perception is what's going to happen to you. And I can assure you that pain is real. Pain is absolutely real. And you will not escape it, be it hunger, violence, um, atrocities, things that you witness that just um, may traumatize you. I think, I think in this world you really need to be the best you can while you can and get into your communities, your friends, and try to be a positive influence. Give off good energy and try to help people. And that's all you really can do. Prepare for the future, live in the now. Remember the past because you have to understand where you're at. So have a good day, man. It's been really good talking to you guys. Take it to heart, man. Who knows what's going to happen with Iran?